Hi everybody, welcome into the Philadelphia Assemblies. My name is John Z. Another succinct and good lesson for all of you today. And I encourage all of you as you watch this one to test it. Test everything that I'm telling you. The lesson is going to be called Beware of Halloween. Beware of Halloween is today's quick and succinct message. And I want to make sure I mention that you can look up the origins of Halloween on your own time. Uh, the story behind it and what goes into it. You're welcome to look that up on your own time. Today, we're going to stick to Scripture and talk about what Halloween means in the context of the Bible. So we're going to give you straight-up Scripture. You can get a chance to hear it and do with it what you will. That way, this video is labeled only as a teaching and not something else. We're going to start in Leviticus. We're going to go from Old Testament to New. So for those who may not even read the Old Testament, there's still some passages in the New Testament that certainly apply to this message. We're going to start in Leviticus 19, verse 31, only one verse. Do not turn to mediums, and do not seek after spiritists to be defiled by them. I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Pretty simple. Deuteronomy 18, verses 10 through 12, only a couple of verses here. Let no one be found among you who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or one who practices divination, or user of magic, or one who interjects omens, or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. For whoever does these is an abomination to Yahuwah. Because of these abominations, Yahuwah, your Elohim, drives them out from before you. Leviticus 7, 26-27 Do not eat any blood in any of your dwellings, a bird or a beast, any being who eats any blood, even that shall be cut off from his people. So, the promotion of vampires, Dracula, things of that nature, clearly says right here what we should be doing in regards to that. Exodus 22, 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. People out there dressing up as witches on this day. That's what God thinks when people dress up as witches or when people promote witchcraft in any way. We're going to go to the New Testament now. So for those who completely disregard the Old Testament, here are some passages that may want you thinking twice. This is the third epistle of John, verse 11. Beloved ones, do not imitate the evil but the good. The one who is doing good is of Elohim, but he who is doing evil has not seen Elohim. Oh, the one doing evil has not seen Elohim. That means you haven't seen God if you're doing evil. Who said that? John. Jesus's or Yahushua's apostle. We'll go to Paul in Romans and in 1 Thessalonians. The church who only likes to read Paul, not even look at Yahushua, read this from Paul and interpret what it says. Romans 13, 12. The night is far advanced, the day has come near. So let us put off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. Let us put off the works of darkness. Let us put it off, not do it, not participate. Let us put on the armor of light. That's what Paul says. He says this too in 1 Thessalonians 5, 22, keep back from every form of wickedness. So don't participate. Don't be a part of it. Stay away from it. Keep back from it. I have two more verses left, and I think this will really put the nail in the coffin. Revelation 22, 13 through 15. This is our Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, speaking. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they might have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. What did he say? Sorcerers are outside the kingdom of heaven. Witchcraft is outside the kingdom of heaven. Even something as innocent, quote-unquote, looking as Halloween is outside the realm of the kingdom of heaven. So by partaking, you put yourself in a bind. And finally, Paul in Ephesians 5, verse 11, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's what we're doing here today. We're reproving, reproving them. That's all we're doing. This doesn't mean I hate you. If you're partaking in Halloween, this doesn't mean I have hatred for anybody. What it means is that we have to check what Yahuwah, what God wants us to do 
when it comes to these sorts of holidays and what we're supposed to be doing instead of what the world does? I mean, this is a rhetorical question. You could answer this in your own head. Do you think it bears good fruit by celebrating a day full of darkness? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it bears good fruit or fruits of the Spirit by celebrating a day that's full of death and blood and corpses and sorcery? What do you think? Pretty simple answer, right? God does not want to celebrate this sort of a day. I encourage all of you to test what I told you. Even, and I want to stress this, even if you're not a Torah person, even if you completely disregard the entirety of the Old Testament, even if you're in the Christian church and you go worship on Sunday morning, wherever you are in your walk, just read those scriptures, let alone the literature out there about the origins of this holiday. But even if you just stick to the scriptures, there's enough there to show that us as believers should not be celebrating Halloween. Thank you for watching. So long.